Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a, another what I eat in a day, um, slash going to the gym with me, slash vlog. You can probably tell it's early morning. Um, I'm feeling a little bit bunged up today, I can't lie guys. Um, I don't know if I'm coming down with a bit of like a cold. My throat's a little bit clammy and a bit dry, um, but we move. The calorie deficit is back on. Um, I have had about a month and a half of indulging in so much food, associating no guilt with it it was my 21st birthday I went on holiday um, it's also been my dad's birthday um, I had a party um, I've just had loads of stuff going on basically and there's no guilt associated with that I'm so 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 happy really really enjoyed it but now I feel like I need to get my cap back on I need to get focused and I need to get back to the gym so I've actually been going to the gym now for three days today's my fourth day I'm um, going to the gym in a row so I'm feeling really good first off of course priority is always food we're gonna head downstairs I'm gonna make some breakfast um, I've got some really nice yogurt and strawberry which I think I'm gonna try out today. Heard really, really good things about it. It's from Audi. It's really high in protein. I think it's got like 25 grams or something crazy. And then obviously gonna to go to the gym. We'll have some lunch, we'll have some dinner. We'll basically just have a really nice chilled video. Do let me know if you guys enjoy these videos as well because I love filming them so, so, so much. Um, they're really easy and they're super convenient for me to film when I'm doing my overtime at work or when I'm at uni. Like they're just, they just slot along really nicely with my life and I feel like I always want my channel to kind of follow where I'm going with life. Not in a deep way, but you know what I mean. And at the minute that is kind of life at the minute. I am in my calorie deficit. I am trying to lose weight. I am going to the gym. I am working out. Let's head downstairs and let's get some breakfast because this girl's hungry. Okay, so I've obviously had my breakfast now and I'm going to be real it was really, really, really nice. Um, I didn't think I would like it because I'm not the biggest fan of um, kind of like low fat, Greek yogurt, anything like that. Sometimes I find it a bit too like sour. However, that was really, really nice. I don't know what sweeteners were used in it, but it just tasted really good. Like to me, it literally tasted like cream, like clotted cream, um, to the point where it was almost a bit too sickly at the end. High pot of yogurt, and then I had around 97 grams of strawberries, I think I weighed. Total calories wise, my breakfast was 173 calories, which I don't think is bad at all. I think that is such a low calorie breakfast for what I had. Obviously it had like 25 grams of protein or something crazy in there as well. So it's gonna be super, super filling. As you can probably tell, I'm a little bit more put together now because I'm actually gonna go and head to the gym and do a workout now. I don't really know what I'm gonna do today to be honest because this is my fourth day in a row going to the gym, which I'm really, really pleased about um, because I've really got back into my routine again and I'm loving it. I'm also absolutely obsessed with the Peloton. We actually have Peloton bikes at my gym and and we've had them for a few months and I've just like never found the time to use them. I went on Monday and I had a go and I absolutely loved it. Like it was so good. I did the Lizzo workout yesterday which so many people recommend and that was really fun as well. So I might just do a bit of a walk on the treadmill, maybe listen to a podcast, listen to some music and then I think I'm going to do some ab workouts in one of the side rooms after that. I'm also going to give you a quick outfit of the day so let's head over to the mirror. Okay I've just put you here because it's just easier. For my top I've just got this Nike top. Um, it's just like a dry fit running top. Um, that my boyfriend got me ages ago. Um, I think it was on ASOS, so I can't remember how much it was. I have a sports bra, it's literally just a Matalan sports bra. And then I've got some Primark cycling shorts underneath. Long story short with the cycling shorts, um, the reason why I'm wearing them is because I did a run on Monday um, and I was wearing really, really short uh, workout shorts from Primark um, and my thighs were slightly out and they started to rub and they have chafed very, very badly. I've literally got scabs all up my leg. It's quite painful um, and it basically means that even though it's absolutely boiling outside and I should really be wearing like as less as possible really when I'm working out I can't wear anything that um reveals my thighs too much because they will rub um and they will get sore and I'm really trying to get them to heal at the minute so I've literally just got a plain pair of cycling shorts on now I can't believe that that's the first run I've done in like a month um and now I can't do it for a little while until my thighs clear up which is 
good fun. I would show you how bad they are, but I feel like that's a little bit inappropriate. Anyway, I'm now going to head to the gym um, because we're going to go and do a workout. Can I be bothered today? Yeah, I actually can. Surprise, surprise, I know, but I'm actually really in the mood to work out today. Um, I think getting myself back into that routine has really, really helped. I'm going to be doing 1,600 calories for two weeks because I have put on quite a bit of weight over the past month and I just kind of want to shift that. I'm going to go to slightly higher calories because I am working out every day and obviously I need to make sure that I'm putting enough fuel in my body, enough energy in my body. Please don't take any advice from this. This is just personal kind of doing my own research and going off what I want to do. Don't think that you guys have got to follow the same thing as me. Like I said, this video is just a bit of fun. And, you know, some meal ideas and some workout ideas and that sort of thing. And I feel like I'm really rambling, so let's head to the gym. So I'm now out of the gym um, and I actually feel really really good after that workout um, I feel like I've just noticed how freckly my skin is and it's also starting to rain which is fun um, but yeah it was a really nice workout actually it was like chill like I still worked um, hard and obviously like pushed myself and stuff but today was kind of more of like an active recovery day if I feel like I'm a little bit achy everywhere else then I always feel like abs is a good one to do so um, I obviously filmed as much as I could but I basically did 30 minutes on the treadmill meal and I just did a walk um I kind of like varied the pace of it in that 30 minutes I listened to a cardio playlist which was actually really really good um I'll take a screenshot of it and pop it on screen I've seen it on TikTok and I follow it and it's a really really good cardio playlist and then I went into one of the side rooms and I just did some ab workouts I used the crunch machine I did some Russian twists I did some planks and then I did some leg extension leg raises I think now what I'm going to do is I am going to head home but before I head home I'm actually going to head to Lidl because I want to see if they've got any of the chocolate um, protein yogurts that everyone keeps talking about. I went yesterday and they didn't have any in stock so I'm thinking if I go today in the morning hopefully they might have some and if they do I'm going to grab a few. I have one for like breakfast tomorrow or like a dessert tomorrow evening or something like that so let's head to Lidl and let's see what they've got. Guys I'm so happy they literally have some and they've got the chocolate flavour so I've literally grabbed about four. Okay not sure if you guys could me in there or not but they actually had some and i was so so pleased i have heard so much about these they're all over tiktok and instagram and everyone says they're literally like a chocolate moussey pudding they're high protein i think for the entire thing it's 162 calories which i don't think is bad at all obviously there's lots of protein in there as well and i was thinking having it with like strawberries or something um, and i've also just picked up some chicken breasts as well because i'm going to do something with that for dinner i think or if not i'll have it for tomorrow's dinner but just wanted to be a little bit prepped and the chicken in Lidl was always really really cheap so i decided to pick up some of that probably tell behind me it's super super rainy and condensated in here um and i don't want to get caught in the rain too much longer because obviously i'm feeling a bit bunged up but let's head back home um it's almost lunch time so let's go home and have some lunch now i'm gonna make my lunch um because i am literally about to flake off because i'm so hungry so these are our 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 <laughs> ingredients um for lunch so i picked up all of these bits from morrison so i got some kisses shredded iceberg lettuce um i got some chicken breast fillets although i will only use one um and then i've also got um some halloumi but it's like the reduced fat halloumi um and then i've also got some peri peri meal which is basically like Aldi's version of um, Perinase because I don't think we've got any Perinase. I'm going to check out other fridge, but I think this is all we've got. So I've got that one. And then I've also got some of the Nando's sweet chili jam as well. I love this stuff so much um, and it really does make a difference. So let's go ahead and start cooking. I'm just going to set you up here um, and I'm going to chop up my um, halloumi first. That is probably the quickest and neatest cutting of halloumi I think I've ever done in my life. I'm actually really proud of that. I'm gonna grab myself a tray um, and I'm gonna chuck some foil on there as well, just so it doesn't stick. I'm just gonna shove all the bits on um, and then I'm just gonna fry light them as well, just so that they cook quite nice. I feel like I've made quite thick bits of halloumi, but halloumi always breaks up, so I'm not too worried because obviously when it comes to putting it on my pita bread, I will just suction it out. Okay, so there we've got all our halloumi. I'm gonna chop up one of the chicken breasts. Now I know I cut it weirdly because I cut it with scissors, 
but um, I just find it way easier um, and I don't like touching raw chicken with my hands. I got like a really weird thing about it. So I literally just use a fork and scissors. So I've just sprayed a little bit more fry light just on the chicken um, and obviously I've got my halloumi here. So chicken has cooked, um, halloumi is doing good in the oven um, and I've also just toasted my piss bread which is absolutely boiling, I nearly burnt my fingers. Um, so now I've just popped it on the um, scales. I'll start off by putting on some salad and then I'm going to add on some of my sauces, then we'll add on the chicken and halloumi. Okay, and here is the halloumi and chicken pitta with all of the chili jam and the perinay sauce. Um, I will pop the calories on screen so you guys can see, but I'm literally going to devour this because I'm so hungry. And I think I'm going to pair this with a pack of watsits and some squash. Okay, so I'm now going to make my dinner. It's about half past six. Um, and I'm absolutely starving. So I thought I'd take you through all the ingredients first. So this is everything that I'm gonna be using. So I've got some of the eight tortilla pockets here. Um, now these are really, really good. They're literally 94 calories for the pocket and they're quite big, they hold quite a lot. So I think I'm gonna have two of these. I've then got some mints. It's just like the 5% sap mints. Um, I've got some cucumber, I've got some tomatoes. I've got some reduced fat halloumi, which I like. It's really, really nice actually. It's the Morrison's one, but I can never really tell a difference. I've then got some reduced fat mature grated cheese and then I've got some peppers as well. Now I think my aim is to grab a wok, cook the mince, um, chop up some tomatoes and bits of cucumber. And then obviously on top I'll pop the cheese and then any sauces that I want. In terms of calories, I will put everything on screen so you guys can see um, how much my portion is. Obviously, I'm making this for me and for my boyfriend as well. So the mints will be halved um, and then all of the veg and things like that. I don't tend to weigh my veg personally because obviously it's really low calorie and I don't really see the point. But all of the cheese will be my own portion and the halloumi, etc. now i have just had my dinner and it was so 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 nice it was really really filling i feel like my meals have been slightly saved me today but some days you know if i've got different things to use up if i've got sauces that are going out of date like i just need to kind of you know what it's like so for pudding of course i am having the high protein chocolate pudding from lidl that i grabbed earlier um, and i'm absolutely buzzing to try these they're 162 calories for the entire thing um and they are actually quite big Oh my god, these actually taste insane. They taste like those... Do you remember those, like, mini chocolate trifles that Cadbury's used to do? And I think they still do them, actually. I'll insert a picture on screen, if you know what I mean. They taste like the middle part of those. Like, so good. Oh my gosh. We are finishing the day on 1,520 calories, which is 80 underneath my goal, my, like, aim. Um, now, I just rest assured that some days I go over by a bit, some days I go under by a bit. It's all about that balance. If I'm really full up, which I feel like, especially after this boost, I'm gonna be, I won't end up indulging in calories I don't need. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I've had so much fun filming it. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you'll hear from my other What I Eat In A Day videos and my other uploads. Got tons of these videos coming. So if you're also in a calorie deficit like me or you're just interested to see what I'm eating, my fitness journey, my food journey, all of that kind of stuff, do make sure you're subscribed and you give this a thumbs up so I know you've enjoyed it. Have a lovely rest of the evening. I know I will with my little chocolate mousse and I will see you all very, very soon for another video. Bye.